Hi, I'm Carla Buderak and welcome to Behavior Communicates. The name of my site is called Behavior Communicates for a very good reason. Communication with others is a very powerful need. Children and adults alike will find a way to communicate their wants and needs whether it's appropriate or not. It's our jobs as educators and parents to help facilitate that communication. You've heard me sing the praises of using a core vocabulary format so that students can formulate their own expressions even if it's at the most basic level. For several years now, there have been some apps out there that have embraced the concept of using core vocabulary approach to communication like the app Touch Chat. It's a wonderful app for communication, but it costs around $300, a price that's often out of reach for families and even out of reach for some schools on a tight budget. Today, I'd like to introduce you to an app that uses the core vocabulary concept for communication, yet it makes it possible for the user to incorporate a huge vocabulary into everyday communication with ease. There's also the keyboard option for more sophisticated language if necessary. The app is called Avaz, A-V-A-Z. There's a free version and the more advanced version, which is what we are using in our schools, is a little over $100, a fraction of the cost for other programs. So basically for the price of an iPad and this app, you've got a very powerful voice output device. Take a look. Here's what the icon looks like on your iPad. And it takes you to the home page. You can see on this home page you've got basic things like yes, no, I, you, a few vocabulary words for um, verbs, and you've got some, some descriptors here. You even have options for different topics and actions, times, and questions. You can go to the core vocabulary board, and you've got some other basic things, uh, location words, some more pronouns, some more adjectives. You even have the icon here. I made a mistake. Where you can immediately say you've made a mistake. So let's go back here and formulate a sentence. I want actions play. So once they've, they've made their sentence, all they have to do is tap this bar here. I want play. If they don't like that, you can delete everything up there. You can even use the keyboard option for that more sophisticated language. There are some already programmed uh, phrases in here. How are you? If you want to use that, or you can type in your own sentence. I have a F O O T B A L. You can see there's word prediction up here, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. Football so you can put any kind of sophisticated language and you get the word prediction with it. And once you want to say that, again, you tap this bar. I have a football. You also have the option of going to settings and select the kind of voice you want here. Lots of different voices and lots of different languages. You also get an option of selecting your own pictures that you want. You can put uh, pictures in for people and actions, anything that you like. It's an amazing app that I think you should give a try. Thank you so much for joining me here at Behavior Communicates. Just remember, the more we know about how to help the child or the student we love, the better of quality of life they will have. If you like this video and you want to be in the know, sign up for Behavior Communicates. You'll automatically get my weekly video and blog, plus other resources that I only share with my subscribers. Please like this video, leave a comment below, and share it with all of your parents, your teachers, your friends, and your coworkers on Facebook, Twitter, and all your other social media. You take care, and I'll see you next time.